YouTube, this is Lane's Boys coming to you with another video about natural hair and in particular fine natural hair. So in my last video I talked about using mousse as a styling product for fine natural hair and I discussed it being another option as far as products is concerned and maybe uh, providing something that will not be as um, will not weigh your hair down as much as sometimes butters can, especially when dealing with fine hair. So today I am, um, I have fresh, freshly washed hair. Um, my hair is completely clean. There's no product on it. And what I'm going to show you is how I define my curls with mousse. Um, again, like I said, just another styling option. This is not the only way that I do it, but this is just one option. So stay tuned and um, you'll see what I do to uh, style my hair. So I've already defined my curls on one side of my head and I'm starting on the other side just so you guys would be able to see it a little better. And basically um, what I will do is there's three products that I use to do this. There is a spray uh, leave-in conditioner, it's called a restorative conditioner that I will spray on my hair. And on top, on top of that, I will put the hair glaze, which is a glaze that reduces frizz. And on top of the hair glaze, I will put the mousse. So I'm re-wetting my hair here just a little bit because it just seems like it's drying up uh, to me. So I just kind of re-wet it just a smidgen. And this is the leave-in conditioner that I'm having fun spraying all over <laughs> my face. And I'm just kind of smoothing that in and making sure that I get it in between my hair. That's a lesson that I've been learning in watching my own videos here is that sometimes spreading on conditioner, I'm putting it on the perimeter of my hair without it getting on the inside strand. So you always want to make sure you separate the hair a little bit just to make sure that you're getting it all over your hair. And I am combing this through just to kind of detangle a little bit. And now I am getting ready to apply the mousse uh, to my hair. And one thing I do like about it is that it does um, define my curls very well. Oh, here I am putting the glaze on. Sorry about that. I, I was ahead of myself a little bit here. And it's just a smidgen. And this is something that reduces frizz. And I'm smoothing that through as well, making sure I get it. Um, that comb was dirty and I was not going to use that. <laughs> Just making sure that I um, get it all through my hair strands. And it's nice and smooth. And now I am ready to apply my mousse. And I'm giving myself a few pumps here. I think it was three that I used. And if you can see at all, my hair um, is beginning to curl up. Um, like I said, this mousse really defines my curls pretty well. I'm just trying to make sure that I get the product all throughout my hair. And I'm just gonna separate it with my fingers. and kind of run my fingers through the detangle and I let it go and I let my natural curl just do what it's gonna do. Because mainly I'm using the mousse as a hold from my natural curls so this isn't something that's going to create curls or anything like that it is going to just hold your natural pattern and sometimes I might you know curl one or two or three or four just <laughs> whatever look I'm going for just making sure that it you know curls properly and of course they'll be shrinkage, so it will begin to shrink after a while. And I'm gonna show you guys the front of my hair uh, as well. And I normally don't start with the front. I normally start in the back, but for the video purposes, I started in the front just so I could uh, show you guys um, how I do it. Ooh, what a face that was. <laughs> and I'm smoothing the leave-in conditioner throughout the top of my head and kind of combing it through and as always you want to start combing your hair from the tips down to the root 
And if the comb stops in any way, like in a, in a snarl or a tangle, you want to make sure that you stop because you don't want to rip your hair out. And now I'm applying uh, the glaze on top of the leave-in. And again, this is just something that reduces frizz. And making sure I'm smoothing that product all the way through. And I'm just going to comb it through. And my curl pattern on top of my head is different than the curl pattern in the back of my hair. In the back, it's really, really tight. Um, and on top, it's really loose. So it's easier for me to comb on top. And I had three pumps of mousse on the top, but I mean, it really turned white there. So I really didn't need all of that. Maybe two pumps would have been good. But again, this is a product revisit. So I had really forgotten about how I used this product. And in times past, when my hair was shorter, um, I didn't separate like I'm doing here. I did more of a coil. And I'll put a picture in here to show you guys, but you've seen it on another video if you've if you've been watching. Uh, I'll stick it in here just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But again, I'm just separating each piece of hair and just letting the hair do what it's going to do. And it's curling up. <laughs> and to be honest with you right here, I think I'm getting really lazy because I'm not really separating as much. Like this top piece, I try to <laughs> make it you know let it go and make it curl and it's not going to and so you're gonna see that I'm gonna have to kind of coil it a little look at that just lazy <laughs> and that's not gonna work so yeah I just kind of separated and coiled it up a little bit so that's how I define and I'm gonna do my whole hair from here so I am finally at the back of my head. This is the absolute last section that I have to do. And I just wanted to come back on and just kind of show you guys how the mousse has pretty much dried in the front and on the sides where I started. Not completely dry, but the white is gone. Um, you know, it's just kind of sparse here and there where the white is. So this product really does, you know, seep into your hair. And this is really hard because I started in the back and it's instead of the front. So uh, I'm finding it kind of difficult to to keep it separated as to what has already been done and, and what I need to do. So if you try this style, you might want to try it starting in the back first. But again, I started in the back just for the video purposes. And I'm going to turn around a little bit just so you guys can see that the curls are defining back there just as they did in the front. My hair is just a little tighter in the back. Um, I have thicker hair in the back, so um, it just it looks really different, at least it does to me. Uh, my top is really kind of thin, but that's an aging thing. <laughs> kind of talked about that before that that's just something that comes along with age so I'm almost done here in this section probably used hair that already had mousse on it because again it was just really hard keeping it separated but my whole head is done and believe it or not it took me about 26 minutes for this entire thing and mainly probably because I was uh, on video so it's really quick it's really something you could probably even do in the morning and again you see by the time you get to the back of your head the mousse has has you know gone it's not white so by the time I get to work it's completely gone and I'm just finishing up the back here so this is the final look uh, I've defined all of my curls uh, using the mousse and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It's not completely dry. I did use a little bit of the mousse to kind of slick down my edges. 
And I normally use um, one of the like paper ties that they use in the salon to kind of tie it down, but I didn't have it in here with me, but that's generally what I'll do. And I'll, I'll turn around so that you guys can see my hair all the way around, but keep in mind it's not completely dry. So you do will see some white uh, here and again where the mousse is not dry, but again, it does dry clear. So I'm just gonna turn around and let you guys look. This is the other side. So this is more of a funky look, you know, I'll rock this with some big earrings or what have you and going about my business. But um, it does, uh, I guess to each its own, it is just a little bit stiff. But again, I do this and it lasts a few days, so I don't mind the stiffness, but it doesn't give you the complete crunch like Echo Styler Gel does, which I don't mind that either, so I'll use that as well. But of course, you know, there's shrinkage that's, you know, with, it, with uh, every, you know, style that you use on unstretched hair, so I, and I don't mind that at all. But I really, really like the definition that I get from this mousse. And as you can see, I don't really have to play with my hair too much. I just kind of smooth it in and kind of finger through it a little bit just to make sure it's separated and let it go and it coils on its own. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. And if you really like this, uh, please comment below. Tell me what you think. Also, uh, rate and subscribe. And I really appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.